Hey folks, it's Shane from Performance EV. Today we're back underneath our electric Porsche. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So we've spent, well, the bones of a couple of months doing some uh, bodywork patching and rust stuff on this car. Um, now it's time to get back to EV related stuff. So for those of you new to this channel, this is my little spot on YouTube where I put electric, I electrify fun and interesting cars. So this is my 1998 Porsche 996. And um, yeah, we've got it up and running as a proof of concept. And now I'm in the process of actually making it into a proper EV conversion. So as a result of that, there's some design changes that I need to do. And we're back under here to start working on some of those. So yeah, let me show, what I'm, show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the original design I had, um, I went kind of down and dirty, just quick uh, design that would hold things where I needed, well, basically hold the motor where I needed it to be um, while we proved it could actually work. So now I've got different needs for different parts or different spaces within the car and I need to change some things. So this is the front of the motor and gearbox. So this is actually a mount that goes into the gearbox and that is actually attached here to the gearbox mount um, that was on the Porsche. So that's fine in theory, but uh, there's a bunch of space here that I actually need to use for other things. So we need to, to open this up and get it working as a as a proper um, proper mount that obviously isn't structurally suspect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these out, um, take off this mounting piece, and then build something that goes straight up to the um, the front of the gearbox. So step one is to get all this stuff out of the way. So we've cleared out the space that had the makeshift mount in it that was holding up the the front of the gearbox. So this is now all clear. This is pretty much where the gearbox and the Porsche used to live, um, or most of it anyway. It was just really the, the kind of tail end of it where the axles came out that was kind of in line with there, and the rest of it came forward to here. Uh, and then you had the mounting point kind of just where this line was there. So what's the plan for this? Well, we've got some empty space, and I don't like empty space. I like to have things filled. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if our inverter fits in there. So we've got it here, safely <laughs> mounted on a, a jack. And we're just going to wind it up, and see if it fits. Now, I'm pretty sure it should fit. I've done plenty of measurements, um, but I just you know, it's kind of lots of curves and angles and stuff. So I just want to see, see if it actually will fit in place. And if things like the, um, you know, the connections and that will clear. So here we go. So that's pretty cool. It's almost like it's made for it. Um, I've got access from what I can see to all of the uh, con connections. So we've got our data connections, we've got our DC contacts on the bottom, we've got our AC up here, we've got our um, input and outputs for the heating. Um, basically all still accessible, which is fantastic. Um, the cross member here, uh, which is part of the suspension clears more than adequately. Um, so what I'll probably do is create a slightly beefier version of this out of steel to give me um, a little bit of uh, you know something that I can use as support and use that to to hold up the um, the inverter. Uh, there's also back this way up 
just here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Um, there's where part of the transmission mount used to go. So I'll run something down under and back up the other side. And then we can tie it into some of these um, stock mounting points on the inverter. Um, and then we'll plate under this. So the, the normal Porsche uh, underbody stuff goes to about here. And we'll just extend that to here and then probably to the um, the front support or the back support for the motor as well, uh, just to assist in the aerodynamics because we've created big gaps where we didn't have them before. But that is, um, yeah, that's really good. All right, so it's actually been a couple of weeks since I first started trying to trial fit the inverter down here. Um, basically, I've only managed, you know, kind of an hour here and there on the car and haven't managed to record that much footage on it but I wanted to take you through where we'd gotten so as you'll probably notice it's a little bit more crowded around here than it was uh, before uh, none of this is actually in place it's all just trial fit but um, yeah let me show you where we are all right so we've got our inverter in place and we've got some very basic uh, mounts made they're not the prettiest but they are secure so we've got one at the back here that goes into the old um, gearbox or one of the gearbox mounting points and then we've got one at the front here which is going between the subframes and actually doubles up as the front motor mount so right now what we're just working on is getting the um, some metal in place to go between this mount, this cross beam, and the mounting holes. Securely mounted inverter, new cross member with mounting points going forward and giving us a mount for our motor to go with the one we made previously for the back of the motor. Right, so I think we're going to have to leave it there. We've got the inverter and motor very securely mounted now. Um, these are kind of just the first iterations of all of these mounts I know I do need to put some a bit more um, kind of isolation in them in terms of like some rubber bushings or something but this is a start um, quite happy with where we've gotten to here uh, it's been uh, quite a few weeks in the making so it's probably a little bit disjointed as videos go but uh, I hope you don't mind bearing with me but yeah um, these are kind of the the locations now for these various components. I like the fact that I've got this kind of mass, not obviously a huge weight, but it's low down and it's forward. And that's uh, gonna help us with, with weight distribution and everything. So yeah, next time I think we'll go into, we'll look a bit probably at the kind of pipes and wires that I'm running along the car and also what I'm trying to do with the, um, with the charger and uh, yeah what's going on with that but yeah i uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh mammoth effort and uh yeah if you if you like this sort of thing and want to see more please consider subscribing but um otherwise yeah thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time